a couple of new rams. Nice to see some Shetlands actually. Should have to check the ear numbers to be sure which um, which ram they went to. We used two pure Shetland rams this year. Um, so it appears that they've had one each. But they're about the same age, so could be one that's had twins, but one's looking after one for the other at the moment. I'm not 100%, although kind of assuming they've had one each. Not sure what they've been scanned with, to be honest. No, I can't see any paint on them. Doesn't it like she's lamb? She's been lambed with twins, she's been scanned with twins actually. That, that lamb there is definitely that huge. She just looks too clean. She looks like she's about to lamb, but she doesn't look like she has lambed. Doesn't look like she's lambed that one. Let's put you over here because I'm fairly sure that must be you. See how the you react. It's the newest um, set of lambs we've got. Nice set of twins. So whilst you and Forge, our Texel ram, would be the dad. <clears throat> Literally just born, and must have been just before we got here. We've got a 
set of Shetland twins, which were born yesterday. Another set of twins which were born when I was out today, and I think one of my neighbours must have, um, well, I know he must have penned her up for me with her lambs, which was nice of him. Um, and we've got a U in an adoption pen, which we kind of made up out of an old hurdle, which we cut down for a Molly, Molly lamb pen last year or the year before. So you can see she's still not 100% keen on him, um, but he's full, so it's another day or so, hopefully it'll be job sorted. Um, so grey, well, grey face Dartmoor cross Shetland in a grey colour, which is really unusual. Um, the Texel cross lamb then. So white grey face Dartmoor. Um, so grey face Dartmoor, Shetland cross you again, but same age, first lambs, one's grey, one is white. The white's more normal. Um, but again, nice lamb. So they've both got a single lamb. Welsh, Welsh ewe in the corner there, who lamb was born yesterday, breech, breech birth yesterday. Um, so it's, to be honest, the first breech we've ever had survive. We had one uh, oh, a few days ago, I guess, but didn't make it. Um, so it's, it's good that they're surviving and they're, it's actually quite a nice little lamb, really. Not 100%, but, it, you know, full and seems solid enough. And then another set of twins, which again, my neighbour must have um, made this little extra pen out of the, the hurdles we were using for the gate, because they were obviously knocking about when he got here, um, which was good of him. So he's, doing, he's done more, more sheep farming than I've done today, um, probably. But anyway, I've iodined them all now, so be all right. Hopefully we'll get them out in the next day or so. Then we've got a few more lambs and ewes knocking around. Most of them out in the yard, I think. So, yeah, there's a few out there. There's 13 in the biggest number out there. Is it 12? I'm not sure, darling. Why? Just wondering. Ah. <laughs> I think 13's in here, actually. Oh, no, it's 14 in here. Yeah. Must be 13 then, I think. Yeah, you see that lamb in the corners? Filling itself up. Quite nice to have a shed for the sheep, actually. So, just brought a few more ewes of lambs down today to Summer Hill. Um, got a few here now. A bit scattered at the moment, but. Enjoying being out on grass, to be honest. I'm actually quite enjoying seeing them out on grass. The lambs seem to be just hanging out around these mole hills. Quite a lot. 